Hey there, so in today's video I will show you some of my favorite actions and plugins that I like to use and how can you make uh, some of your own. Okay, so before we jump to Photoshop, uh, let me just mention that uh, some of the plugins and actions that I'm going to show you uh, will cost you some money, but, uh, but I wouldn't show them to you if I think that uh, they were overpriced and uh, they didn't work uh, properly because I would really hate to spend your money on uh, something that you don't really need. But uh, I'm going to show you some examples so you can decide for yourself and the links to all of the plugins and actions uh, will be down in the description of the video. Okay, so I'm going to start with the most expensive plugin uh, and it's called Astro Flat Pro. Now uh, this plugin costs around uh, $35, but in my mind it's uh, well worth the money. Uh, plus before you buy it you can get uh, a 15 day trial version and it's uh, fully functional so you can actually try it. And uh, let me just quickly show you, so after you download it from this site, you can click here try before you buy. And just click here. And after you download it, just uh, make sure that uh, Photoshop is closed and uh, run the installer file. So this plugin will remove uh, gradients from your images and uh, calibrate your background. Here I prepared my uh, Orion Nebula and uh, you can clearly see uh, that the vignetting and my background uh, is horrible. The only thing I've done to this image is to correct the white balance. And now let me show you how Astro Flat uh, Pro works. You just basically need to go to filter and here you will see a new section. So go to Pro Digital Software and select the Astro Flat Pro. Click on it. And uh, this plugin works uh, really really fast, so here you can already see the result. And I left uh, all of my settings as default, so just hit OK. And you can see the difference is huge. So this plugin works uh, really well for uh, what it's meant for. So this saves me a lot of problems, that's why I think that uh, $35 is not uh, that much. But okay, the next plugin is for free. And it's called HLVG. And what it does is that uh, it uh, subtracts the green uh, color cast from your images uh, or should I say from your background and after you download it, open it, extract it here. So this is the file you copy, go to your Adobe folder. And just paste it in this uh, plugins folder and that's basically it and again make sure that you have a uh, photoshop closed before so let me minimize that and again this plugin will appear in the filters so just find deep sky colors hlvg let me put this to the side and here dependent on uh, how intense your green color cast is uh, you select uh, how aggressive the plugin should be so i'm just going to select strong and hit ok and as simple as that, uh, all of the green color cast uh, is gone and uh, you can just continue with uh, your editing. And the last thing that I wanted to show you is an action which I already used in the previous video, but I think it's appropriate if I include it here. So I'll go over it uh, really quickly and include uh, the link to the previous video uh, in the description. And there I show how to install it and uh, use it in a bit more detail. So this action is meant to select uh, really all of the stars in your images. So you can do a really clean star reduction or get uh, rid of them uh, completely. But all you have to do here is to select if you have an RGB or a grayscale image. Click it and just press play. Then all of your stars will be selected. But again I'm not going to go over all of this again. So Control D to deselect. And I'm going to show you a star reduction. Or if you want to get completely rid of the stars, this is how that looks. Here I left some of the stars intentionally because uh, I think it uh, looks good. And the last thing that I promised to show you is uh, how you can make yourself some actions. Since uh, a lot of the steps in processing are the same over and over again. Or uh, you have to repeat them a few times in a row. But uh, they are quite simple to do. So let me go to this image. And this is my raw H alpha image from the Rosette Nebula. Now all we have to do is to go to actions. Here I would really recommend you to make yourself a folder and you can rename it but I'm just going to leave it like that. Hit OK. Now to start record the action just uh, click the button next to it. And here I want to extract the red channel. So I'm going to name it something like that. So, uh, hit record. I'm going to minimize that so it doesn't bother us. Now just go to channel, select the red channel 
hit Ctrl A to select all, Ctrl C to copy it, Ctrl N to make a new document, hit OK, Ctrl V to paste it in. Now just hit the stop button and your action is done. So let me close this image so you can try it. I got my image selected. Select the action and hit play. There you go. And I'm going to show you how to make uh, one more action, but uh, let me just correct the levels here. Okay, that's fine. For this section, we are going to make a local contrast. So let's go back to actions. Hit this button, name it. Hit record. Now I want it to duplicate the layer first. Oh, let me minimize that. Go to filter, sharpen and unsharp mask. And here I'll go a bit uh, overboard so you can see it more clearly. Hit OK. Go to the action and stop it. Minimize that. Get rid of the new layer. Go back to actions. Select it. Hit play. And you can see it duplicates the layer and makes the adjustment. And yeah, I hope you get the idea because uh, actions can help you to save uh, quite some uh, time in processing and uh, you can really make uh, a bunch of those. Okay, so for today that's it. Uh, but let me just mention that uh, next uh, Sunday I won't post uh, a video because of the holidays, but I'll continue with the processing series uh, right after New Year. The only thing that I hope is to get uh, to finish the Heart Nebula project, but yes, most times in astrophotography that uh, solely depends on the weather. But okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye.